What is up, everyone? Goja A51 here, and Wonderfest 2022 was uh, all dropped yesterday. And uh, I'm going to go over the things that were announced. Announcements brought to us by Jeremy Souls at Summit Kaiju. So, starting off first, we have a two pack set of the 72 Godzilla and the 72 Gigan. Both from Favorite Sculptors line, and this is a two pack set. And uh, they look great together. Now, the Godzilla is meant to be the 72, and they uh, are reusing a uh, sculpt from before, the original 25cm uh, line, which I do have. Uh, I have the Rick uh, 1971, where he, Godzilla's holding the two balls. And uh, it's a great figure, and I look forward to having this uh, added to it. And uh, this one's going to have a little sprinkle of blood uh, trickling down the center of his head when Gigant's bashing his head in. Speaking of 25, the 25 centimeter uh, Gigan, I always saw this. I always liked this uh, version of Gigan as well. Just never really got a chance to, uh, you know, pick him up. But uh, something even bigger is uh, more fun in the back. We'll get to that in just a little bit. Next up, we have some stuff from the film Metropolis. That's a classic sci-fi film. I'm not really big into that, but I know there's a lot of people that are, so that's going to be fun. Some Vampirella stuff, okay. Next up, we have uh, Ultraman. Uh, lots of people love Ultraman. I'm not, once again, I'm not that big into Ultraman, but uh, this figure does look great. And I like the base it comes with. It has the electrical tower next to it as well, so, and 22 centimeters, so that's going to be a great little figure to have. Okay, drop list again. Next, we have the Cyclops. Uh, back from the Harryhausen collection, you know, uh, the films, uh, you know, he uh, worked on, and, uh, it looks like it comes with a cage with a, uh, you know, a, a traveler, you know, caught up in that. Looks awesome. Cool box as well for it. Okay, next up we have from the Valley of Guanji, the, the dinosaur Guanji. Another uh, awesome film. I have only seen it once, though, but I remember really liking this. And uh, not a lot of people feel the Kaiju Kings look really f uh, forward to this. And, uh, yeah, it's, it does look good, you know. I like it. Next up, we have from Jason the Argonauts, we have the Skeleton Warriors. You know, these things are going to be cool. It comes out, it looks like there's three of them in a set. One of them standing there with a sword and shield. The other ones are, you know, rising from the ground. That's going to be awesome. Another shot of it. Nice. And we have some other, uh, you know, characters. I'm not sure who these are or have seen these before, so we'll move on. Ooh, some I'm looking forward to. Now, I'm not a really big uh, fan of. Uh, Defo Reel, okay? There are certain ones that I really want to get and ones I really like to have, but I don't really need to have all of them. This one, however, yes. The 1967 Godzilla with newborn Minya. Yes. Oh, yes. That is right out of my, you know, nostalgia. I love that film. I love Star Godzilla. I do. I love the film. It's, it's an excellent film. Okay? To me, it is. You don't like it, you don't like it. That's, that's okay. There's lots of films we all don't like. But anyway... This is a yes. This is a, such a yes. I am so getting this. And uh, this is, uh, you know, the prototype of it, which, you know, it's fine. You know, they got the prototype. I'm glad they're showing it off. When it comes out now, it comes out later. I don't care. It looks awesome. Yes. That's a big thumb up for me as well. Next up, speaking of more Defo Reel figures, you know, if you're a big fan of Godzilla vs. Megalon, Leslie, I'm looking at you. Okay. We have the upcoming Jet Jaguar, which looks good. We have Gigan, 1973, coming from that, which he looks more like the 72, but, you know, you're splitting hairs at that moment. But now, we have the 73 Mech, uh, 73 Godzilla from, like, a, uh, you know, there's, like, a um, well, promotional picture they actually have of Godzilla from that, where he has, you know, the straw... In his mouth, and he has this the uh, tree on his side, kind of like a katana, which you know, is really cool. And uh, I always, I always like that. They're actually, you know, implementing that into a Defo reel. So might have to flip on that, see if I get that. But the big one, the big one is Megalon. Megalon. So we're gonna have all four monsters from the film, you know, all together. And they're not being released together, but you know, they're all you can put them all together. So it looks good. That's in its uh, prototype phase as well. Just. Mwah, looking awesome, okay? And we have some closer pictures of them looking awesome. 
I think Gigan looks the best, actually, out of them, but Megalon's not finished yet, so we'll have to wait and see. <sighs> okay, uh... <laughs> Coming up, we have the gigantic defo reel of uh, Shin Godzilla, and uh, um, I'm, I'm not going in on this. Um, I love Shin Godzilla. I love the look of it. I love everything, but um, I just don't need this in my collection. Okay, um, I look forward to others who do get it. I want to see your reactions. I want to see what you got, but. Um, for me, this is a pass for me. Um, no offense, but, you know. Okay. Yeah, I was so excited when I saw the picture that I forgot to even say what the thing is. We have the X Plus 25 centimeter King Ghidorah from film Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019. This is not a pass. This is a hard get when this comes and it gets... Um, uh, you know, uh, announced, which, uh, by the way, uh, if you know me on, like, Facebook or you know me personally, if this drops and I'm asleep or I'm at work or something, you have my permission to blow my phone up with notifications that this has been, uh, dropped. Now, it says coming soon, so it'll probably be, like, another year or so away, which is fine, but if it does... You have my permission to, you know, send me messages, you know, over and over again until, you know, I send a message and I say, yes, I pre-ordered it. Okay. Sculpt looks awesome for what they're showing right here. I don't know if this is the finished product. Um, hopefully it is. I think it looks awesome. You know, it's a really different sculpt than I thought they would actually go with. So, yes. Okay. Controversy time. I think this figure looks great. The 2003 uh, 25-centimeter favorite sculptor's line, uh, Godzilla. I think this thing looks awesome, okay? And I do have the 2002 from against Mechagodzilla in my collection as well. And uh, it's an awesome figure. I like that figure, okay? I think it looks great. And uh, the face isn't, you know, completely on track with what it is in the film. I understand that. I don't care. I think it looks great the way it is. This one, however, looks more uh, screen accurate, uh, to the film uh, Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Now, this one has a closed mouth, so it actually has more of a, a more fierce look on its face. But I think they both look amazing. This looks uh, amazing. I don't know if I'm going to be getting this, though, because I do have the other one, and uh, I am kind of running out of room for my figures. <sighs> I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah. Okay. The main event. I'm calling this as figure of the year. It already says that uh, 2022, this figure is coming out. And it looks like it has a 7-1-2022. Seven, seven we have Godzilla 1966 flipping Ibra over his head. Now, in the film, Godzilla does this. However, he doesn't do it at this height. This is more based on like a promotional picture that they actually have for the film Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. And... That shot is really cool, and uh, this what they're doing with this just looks awesome. Now, from what I understand, this is actually based off of a kit. And uh, the kit does look really good. X-Plus made it look so much more awesome. Now, from what I understand, Ibra is actually on a base right behind Godzilla. Now I'm looking at it even closer. It's like a hook that actually goes underneath his tail, holding him up while Godzilla's holding the claw as well. So, that's a definite yes. Definite, definite yes. Now, a lot of people are worried about, you know, this figure, you know, when it comes out, how much it is and stuff like that. 48,000 yen. So what you do is, so this is a little side thing. You go on Google and you type in 48,400 yen to USD and it'll actually tell you what the exchange rate is and how much you need. So I believe it's 400 some dollars uh, with that. But you also have to factor in a shipping, so... Yeah, it's going to be, you know, uh, you know, probably north of 500, maybe for this. But you're getting two figures with this. And uh, with the dynamic pose and everything, the, all the uh, engineering that they had to probably go into this, this looks like a worthy one. Also, I'm seeing this even closer. Sorry, my eyes are starting to go. But um, 30 centimeter. This is going to be a full 30 centimeter figure. So, yes. Definitely. Yes. I know um, 
everybody in the Godzilla community is really on board with this. I know Leslie Chambers loves this film. I know Phil the Kaiju King loves this film. And this is, I've, I've loosened up, I've lightened up on this film over the years as well, and I think this thing looks awesome. This is a definite yes, 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 indeed. So that is it for all the figures at, you know, Wonderfest and uh, 2022. And, uh, yeah, some definite yeses, a couple of passes, but, uh, yeah, I can't wait for the future. All right, this is Goje51 saying good day, good night, and uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.